Hey there, Jim Johnson for Accent Help here, and I want to talk about vowel length. So, vowels will tend to either be shorter or longer, and there's a couple of ways to mark that with the International Phonetic Alphabet. So here's an outline, this is the full chart, and this is a chart of just the vowels. So on this, there are these diacritics that can do little tweaks. So if you take a vowel at random, let's say the E sound, which is this lowercase i, you can indicate length by adding two dots after that. They're actually little teeny tiny triangles that face one another, but those are a pain in the butt to write. So I'm just going to do a couple of dots, which looks like a colon, which suggests more length. If you want to suggest maybe not quite so much length, it can be a single one of those dots. But the main one that you probably want to use is to use the double dot. Now, when you want to make something shorter, indicate that with the IPA, you can take this very same vowel and then simply put this over it, a little sort of U-shaped thing. It's something that people will commonly use with uh, Shakespeare to indicate a, uh, an unstressed uh, syllable in iambic pentameter. But that indicates short vowel versus long vowel, okay? Uh, you can also not mark it and then we just don't know what it is and or you can assume that it's something in the middle. So what makes vowels longer or shorter? Well, if they're at the end of a word, a word like me, then it tends to be longer. If it's got after it a voiced consonant, then that voiced consonant, because the voicing is continuing, you will tend to stay on your voice, so the vowel tends to be longer. So a word like bead, the vowel tends to be longer. If you have an unvoiced consonant after it, like a T, and you have a word like beat, it tends to be a shorter vowel because your voice is basically cutting off faster to try to be ready for not voicing. So this is the unvoiced, this is the voiced. You can substitute other things for it as well. You could go with a G and a K as different examples. Beak, big. Yeah, it doesn't really work but it does the same thing. So vowel length can be determined by where it lies. It can be determined by what follows it, right? It can also just be determined by you stressing a word or not stressing a word. One other thing that I wanna throw at you is that there are vowels that tend to be a little bit longer and vowels that tend to be a little bit shorter. And the ones that tend to be longer are oftentimes called tense vowels. And the ones that tend to be a little bit shorter are oftentimes called lax vowels. So for example, an E sound is considered a tense vowel, whereas the I sound, as in sit, tends to be considered a lax vowel. So it tends to be shorter. That's the quick version of long vowels versus short vowels. I hope that helps. For more info, check out accenthelp.com.